Aspidilla occur here in St. John's. Like these fossils, the first fossils of Aspidilla found and named are from downtown St. John's, uh, the corner of Prescott and, uh, and Duckworth Street. So these Aspidilla aren't only townies, they are downtownies? They are downtownies, <laughs> very in the heart of downtown. Hi, I'm uh, Nathalie Jean Chicard. I'm collection manager for the natural history collection here at the rooms. These are Aspidilla fossils that have come home from the Geological Survey of Canada in Ottawa. When you, we say fossils, we often think of dinosaurs, <laughs> petrified bones and teeth of, of dinosaurs. These are different. They are actually impressions in the rock of the body of a ancient organism. Well, these fossils come from rocks that are dated to half a billion years old. This is the very, very beginning of multicellular life. The more recent thinking is that they may have looked a lot like modern sea anemones. These were first described in 1872 by a paleontologist in Ottawa. Elkana Billings is his name. They were discovered by Alexander Murray, who was the first geologist of the Newfoundland Geological Survey. Him and some of other fossils enthusiasts in St. John's discovered them, figured out it was something special. They're the ones who sent them to uh, Billings in Ottawa. Billings named them Aspidilla terra novica. So Aspidilla means round shield. So the round shield from Newfoundland. When a paleontologist names the fossils, they will designate a certain specimen as the example. Well, those are the ones that Billings in 1872 used to describe this new species. So that's already very special for me, and especially come from a site that I walk by every day. You know, normally museum specimens are often spend a lot of time in a drawer <laughs> until you know research circle around with a new question and then they come back out in the limelight and teach us something new. Mm -hmm.